Let's look at the ranking pattern. Ranking is very a very common um, requirement that you'll find. You'll often find your clients asking you, who are my best customers? Who are my, who are my best sales regions? Who are my best sales reps? What are the, the best products? Uh, ranking deals with all of that. So the different kinds of ranking we'll be looking at is we're first going to look at static ranking. That's this video. And in the future videos, we'll look at dynamic ranking. So what is static ranking? Static ranking is uh, basically the ranking is not affected by any of the filters that you apply on, uh, on the screen. Uh, dynamic ranking is a, a recalculation is done on the rank depending on the filters you select on screen. So we're going to look at static in this video. Okay, so the function we'll be using is rank X, uh, but more about that as I give you the example. And then let's quickly have a look at the data model over here. Okay, so the data model we're going to work with, this is from the AdventureWorks da database. So we basically have the internet sales, sales, we got the date of sale, we got the territory, we got the customers, we got the product. The product has a subcategory, the product has a category. What I already did is on the product table, you'll see on the product table, we already have a category column over here. So we know the category of each product. So because of the static pattern, what we're going to do is we're going to add to the product table, we're going to add two new columns. We're going to add the rank uh, for the product and the rank for the category on the product table. So let's go into the product table. We're going to say new column. Simply we'll be saying, we'll be using rank X rank X and we're gonna say rank X I don't know what it does that rank X can you please give us for all of the products you don't have to do this all um, function here you can just put in them product there but it's just easier to read so it basically gives me indication of um, that I want to do the ranking across all products and I'm going to do it with the existing measure for sales amount. Close that one up. I'm going to call that rank no man. Rank product. Cool. Now we have a column called rank product. Lovely. So what we're going to do is let's go in here. We're going to say bring the rank product. Bring it in over here. And just one thing, you see that the sum of the rank product, I don't want the sum of the rank product, I just want to don't summarize it at all. There we go. That's much better. So now you can see we have a beautiful ranking of the, the, the top product and the bottom product sold. You know, so the product with the least amount of sales at the bottom. So the reason why this is static is just note this. This is across all sales across all time. So if I look at accessories, you can see accessories only start at 68. So the dynamic pattern will make that one, two, three, but the static pattern will just keep on going. We'll rank it relatively to everything in the product. So bikes, you can see, starts at one. But clothing will not start at one. See that? Same thing if it goes for the years of 2010. See, there's a lot missing there. This is based on sales of 2010, 2013. This is the nature of the static um, ranking, that it doesn't really change the, the ranking based on the filters you selected. Now let's add the rank per product category. Just to show you what that means, look at this table. Let's bring in the category. We can see that each product has a category. So for accessories, we want to rank the total sales for accessories separate from the product. Okay, so what, how do we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the product table. We're going to add another calculate column another static one um, and this one we will just do simply like this uh, rank x once again rank x table so what we're going to use here is see previously because we were ranking it across all products what we're going to do is we're going to use the all accept um, function that basically this is going to tell us that we are going to uh, dis disregard all filters except the category so this basically means we're going to summarize, we're going to do the rank based on the, the total sales amount across the category. So here we're going to just say on the DIM product table, yes, 
what is the filter we want to um, accept? Uh, we can say this is the product category. category. There we go. So we also basically tell it that. Uh, I basically didn't state that correctly. It's going to remove all the filters except the dim product, uh, dim product category. That basically means we're going to base it on the sales amount over there. Quite simple. Let's call this rank category. There we go. Rank category. Now let's do the same thing. So on this thing, let's say, let's bring in the rank category. So in here, also just take the sum off there, it needs to be done summarized. You'll see a lot of number ones. So you can see number one, that's because that's number one within its category. So you can see if we bring in the product rank over here, not the sum, you can basically see we have a, for product rank, we only have one number one. Okay, but for rank, category we have multiple number ones but if you look at per category it says for accessories there's only one number one for bikes there's only one number one clothing there's only one number one so basically it ranks it per product category excellent so this is the static one next video we will do the dynamic uh, ranking which is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more useful